Boom, Boom, bop, and pow! Welcome back to the Point Taken Podcast. <laughs> the only podcast where we make and take spiritual and biblical questions and chat it up. up. My name is Hunter. Today I will be hosting the podcast. Joining me today is the illustrious, the wonderful, the amazing, and a last name. Redacted. And a redacted. <laughs> what a uh, name. Joining us it's as always as well. The wonderful, the illustrious, I'm not going to think of any other adjectives, Pastor Josiah Shipley. I always yeah. feel so important whenever he introduces me. I know. <laughs> yes. See, that's why it's so much better The third funniest pastor. It. Sorry. Like, it's not even which close. is a great <laughs> transition <laughs> to joining us lastly, third. the beautiful, no, second. Second. the incredible, the very tall and Harry. handsome, Harry Benjamin Bowen. Oh, me. You. Benjamin Jamin. With the, with the, I'm handsome now with the beard back. Right? The accent, yeah. You're <laughs> handsome all the time, bro. That's the other accent. Ooh, even without it, the beard. When you shaved you're the your only beard. only person ever that has said well, that. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Because I, I love your heart, and I'm, that's what I see. I see the beauty. Dude, uh, I just cried on the inside. Can I, be, can I be 100% with you? When you shaved your beard and I saw you, have you ever seen like videos of like kids seeing their dad and crying? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. it's like it's not the same person anymore. Part of me was like, <laughs> Where'd he go? Yeah, Matthew was not a fan of it either. I was like, you no. he Amber, looked at me. I was like, you like it? He went, no. Amber mm-hmm. called Kids me. Or- Amber called me and said, "Is this a biblical reason for divorce?" <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Well, see, the first time I was like a visitor. The first time I ever met you, he got a visitor card. Yeah, I did a double take. I did a double take with you. I was just like. <laughs> Wait. The first time like, I ever met you, I, I saw you on the street. I saw you on Highway 64 after yeah, you had replaced me. Yeah. And I saw you, and you had a big, well, giant beard, and I said, look at this guy. Yeah, and if I, you weren't so bad at your job, man. But, hey, I a, but you know. look, look, what happened back then, I was patchy. I couldn't grow a beard like this. Well, today, mm-hmm. guys, we don't really have a topic. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing reactions. If he edits it, I might punch him. All right. <laughs> We're going to be Actually, doing some I'm reactions scared. to some TikToks, to some videos, to things that people send in. Uh, and we're going to be, as we said in the beginning, chatting them up. Chatting them up. Right? And yeah. you guys are welcome to join us for the ride here and for this conversation. So, to our tech team, our illustrious, wonderful <laughs> tech team crew. He didn't say beautiful. Let's thing. go. Ahead. <laughs> beautiful tech team crew. Well, that would include Let's Landon, play <laughs> the video. This whole idea that you're supposed to be broke as a joke and ready to choke because you are a follower of Christ is a satanic lie. Let's stop believing that. Can we stop believing that? Can we just go ahead and, like, people say, well, how much money do you want to make? Well, I, don't, I can't speak for you, but for me, as much as I can. <laughs> I said that to somebody that's fairly close to me one time. They said, man, how much money do you want to make? I said, as much as I can. They said, surely you can't mean that. I said, surely I do. <laughs> don't call me Shirley. <laughs> If you said it, you might not mean it, but I mean as much as I can. Mm. Yeah. And some people, that's so greedy. Is it? You're assuming my motive is I want to make it so that I can go buy something I can't already buy. What if that has nothing to do with it? What if I just want to make as much money as I can just because I don't want to live below my potential? How long would you like to live? Not that long, just long enough to be comfortable. Mm. At first I thought that was Vody Bauckham. I like thought it was first for a split glance, second, and I was yeah. like, oh, Then we I don't started think talking. I was like, yeah, I was like, be. no, Vody has that yeah. voice. And he oh, don't talk that fast a, either. No, yeah, he's very. So why do you feel like it can't be? Can't be what? But just the what you were insinuating. Why do you feel like it can't be? Do you feel like Vody Bauckham wouldn't say something like that? Oh yeah, for sure. Well, well he wouldn't like, say that, that, and he just. That's not how he talks. <laughs> I know, I know, Vody Bauckham. I know, his voice isn't as deep. Yeah, that ain't Vody. So is there something wrong with what he said? Yeah. I would say uh, so. Just with the in, did you want to go? No, go ahead. You got it. Just with the intention of the heart. Yeah, it would be nice to have all of this money. However, it's like what is what is your reasoning? Like he said, well, it's to mm-hmm. live, you know, above my potential, like whatever. It's like, okay, but what does that mean? Yeah. Like for him in particular, is that you just want to make a lot of money because you want to give a lot more. You want to be charitable with your donations. You know, you want to be intentional with your church and blessing people through that with benevolence. Like, you know, what is it? Yeah. And it's like, I just want to be able to live comfortably. It's like, okay, but what's comfortable for you? Mm-hmm. Being comfortable for me is not comfortable for somebody else. 
Fair you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know. That's like my that's my initial, but it talks about for the love of money is <clears throat> in. There's a scripture that you know you didn't have right down that we <laughs> yeah. that we talked about, but yeah, that's like my initial thought. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, I think it definitely has to do with like he's you know, like he said, the the motive behind it. You know, I mean, I work to make money. I make money so that I can provide for my family. Mm -hmm. You know, got a wife and a son and a kid on the way, and you know, a house, all that stuff. But uh, but if it was to get to a point where Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, anyway, if it, you know, if it got to a point where it was making more money, so that, like he was saying, to buy more things or to to do more instead of like actually using that for good, like yeah, rather it's going to the church. Like, what if I could use that money to help somebody go on a mission trip that mm -hmm. can't afford it, mm -hmm. um, or to help home somebody or clothe them based on the money that I make? So, I think the the saying as much as I can in and of itself, I wouldn't disagree with as long as the motive is for something that's good. Would yeah. you disagree with that? No. I, <clears throat> I was, um like, when he first said, make as much money as I can, I was like, all right, that's not in and of itself a positive or negative sentence. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I was like, what do, you, what do you mean as much as you can? Right. <clears throat> because if when you say as much as I can... That can't be true because you could do things to make more money that would not bring more glory to God. Mm -hmm. Fair but enough. But if you yeah. mean as much as I can up into these points, well, then I'm game with that. It was so I was tracking with him until he said, "I want to reach my full potential or a higher potential." I don't want to. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. didn't want to be below his because, potential. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you. Because yeah. then that made it be where his potential was based on how much money he made. Yeah. You can reach yeah, your potential making zero dollars a year. Yeah. Here. <laughs> Up top. <laughs> Unemployed person over here. Unemployed by choice. <laughs> yeah, by yeah. choice. Yeah. Sure. Uh, you can and make, I'm more you're fulfilled. for good reason. Though. And I'm more fulfilled yeah. by that. So it depends on what you mean, your potential. I, I have never seen Jesus' W-2 when he was on earth, but it was uh, very low because the Bible says the women. You ever wondered that, by the way? Because I did. The women. He definitely had a W-2, man. Let's all his real. 12. Yeah, he wasn't a 1040 guy. <laughs> <laughs> all the, uh, you know, all, he, he's like, oh, 12 disciples. All y'all quit your job. How'd they make money? The women sold the stuff. Yeah. yeah. And a couple of them had business. It says, it's mm -hmm. a verse in Luke. It says that they supply the needs of the ministry. Yeah. Actually, Chosen uh, shows that yeah. decently. Mm -hmm. But at any rate, I, I guess I was tracking with him until he said, reach your potential, because then he equated potential with salary. Yes. Yeah. I didn't think about that, but yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. And I feel like with a lot of these videos and stuff, especially with the context, like we're, we're on this podcast. These are, we don't know what we're about to see. Right. It's been provided to us. And then we're expecting to hear something, you know, like I feel like yeah. at least for me, my subconscious is just like, okay, I'm on guard. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I thought like, I was going to say more poop? crazy, right. honestly. So I feel like a lot of, where's the poop? Where's the poop, Robin? Where's the poop, Robin? Where's the poop, Robin? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, how much more? That's yes. awesome. Um, but like, I feel like a lot of the problem for me was the delivery was just like, you know, like how his personality was and his delivery was just like, I said, um, hold on. And then it's like, okay, well, he's not saying anything crazy. And then he said, right. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to, yeah. yeah. And then it was like, oh, I don't want to live below my potential. I was like, hey, all right. And the, the, and the, like, the, yeah, the, the, um, body language and the tone but, of the voice, but it's, but it's, but it's yeah. a fair thing and for you two, not as much her and I, but for you two. It should be a goal of yours to move up in the roles and the mm -hmm. jobs that you two have mm -hmm. and sure. make more money based on you bettering yourself for that company, boss, right. whatever. Right, yeah. So that should be your goal. So if that's what it's meant by as much as you can, then I agree with that. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to stay stagnant no. in your professional career. I, I agree with yeah. that. A worker yeah. is worthy of his wages. Right. Um, but if... We took that as, okay, and that is determining where your limit, your potential is as far as your yeah. value is. Well, n then now we are making that how valuable you are. Yeah. But I had but... someone tell me this last week. Someone's doing very well at work right now. And they told me, it doesn't really mean anything. It's only worldly success. I said, that's not true. Mm. It depends on what you use that for that determines mm. if it's just worldly success or not. Yeah. That, I mean, that, that's not true at all. But... Yeah, I I think I think the balance is 
you should want that to progress in that to improve yourself as an employee. Mm -hmm. But not at the expense of that is where my value comes from. So let, let's talk about his that. very beginning statement, because I feel like we shouldn't skip that. He said, the idea that God wants you to be broke as a joke and ready mm -hmm. to choke is a satanic lie. What do we think? Is that is that a satanic lie, or is that what God calls for some people? Or what, what part of that sentence is truthful and what's a lie? So go ahead. <laughs> this is like, this is something we've done a really Pastor, bad balance you got on. This one? <laughs> no, well, no, no, y'all got this one. There's something we've done a bad balance on. For example, we'll have people do a word search and like the word treasure, mm -hmm. and then assume every time Jesus used that word, he's talking about actual money. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, he's not. Right. No, yeah. no like he's not. The treasure. Right. No, no, he's not. Yeah. So then they'll say something like, "Well, Jesus talked about money more than he did this topic." Well, no, he didn't. You just did a word search on the word treasure and stuff yep. like that, right? Yep. The flip side of that is also true. There was only one person in the entire Bible that God told to sell all his possessions. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. Right. And it's because yeah. God knows hearts, okay. and I don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. God knew what that guy loved more than God. Mm -hmm. Right. He didn't yeah. tell I Peter. Called dibs on this because it's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> you <laughs> told me last time. Ditto, ditto. You did it last time. You called <laughs> dibs on the scripture, which is crazy to me. Dibs. But, yeah, well, I mean, add to whatever you want. So the point is, does God want you to be broke as a joke without hope? Or what, what was it? Broke, broke as, as a joke, joke and ready, ready to choke. choke yeah. Like. Uh, no. He was trying to be funny but, with that one. Yeah. I didn't think it was very funny. In, in general, no. Individually, maybe. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Right. Yeah. Right. That's I mean, the thing. Like you can't That was make the general, case for Peter. Yeah. You can't make general statements like that. I mean, every one of the disciples he was just like, all right, come on. Like, yeah. All right, go ahead and leave everything Listen, behind. Yeah, hey, come uh, on Jesus, I don't even have money to pay taxes. Go find that other fish, man. Go, go, do yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, go grab that coin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like it, we can't really make general statements like that, and I think that's why a lot of our spirits, you know, the little alarm bells kind of started ringing. Yeah. It's just like mm, you can't speak for God exactly for every situation about what God wants for each individual. There are some things, like he calls all sinners to repentance. There are yeah. some things that God might want, you know, whether or not he's going to will it to be is another thing. But, yeah, you can't really say God wants everybody to be rich. Um, or God wants everybody to live, you know. Yeah, but to to say it's a satanic lie, like that's right, just a little dramatic. Lie. I'm like, all right, calm down, man. By the way, Elaine is that's a hater. I mean, she made really fun of us for only getting through three last time. We have to do at least four. Oh, because uh, Elaine is a reaction. hater. Yeah, oh, well, I did. I did want to mention one more thing about like stewarding your finances mm -hmm. appropriately. It's like if one of the reasons why you're broke is because you're going to McDonald's every day and, you know, like buying all this crap you don't need, then that's like the reason you're broke. You need to fix that behavior. Yeah, that's not an income problem. It's that's not, an expenditure right, problem. Right, and there have been people that I've talked to personally who made more than my husband and I did in a year combined, and they were living paycheck to paycheck okay, because ben, ben of their Ben is right behavior. here. Let's, let's, it let's was not Ben. Them. Yeah, when you were saying not ben. you're going now, broke off of the dollar. Amber, Amber literally like, like, stuck her head like looking at me. <laughs> that's called I I mean, a stop. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Up top. Yeah. It's called packing your lunch and being intentional. That's how you can Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I do. There's a most days pack, okay. most days right pack my life. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> steward your finances well, people. That's all I'm saying. And on to the next video. <laughs> you didn't have to. I like these reactions. Yeah. yeah. Especially having a I'm wife excited. in the room. Believe in a God. Right? I mean, what you can say if you're, if you're a cosmologist, what you should say is, well, we know that the universe was very hot and dense 13.8 billion years ago. Uh, we don't know how it got hot and dense. We don't even know, actually, if the universe had a beginning in time. Don't know. So Science doesn't rule out the existence of a creator. No, but in, in the sense that I just said, that I think we're overstepping the, the mark. I, I, I do not believe there's any evidence for a creator. Uh, however, um, I don't like the antagonism that, 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 that occurs or is produced by this question. The point is that the correct thing to say is we don't even know whether the universe had a beginning. I don't even know whether it was eternal. Nobody does. So, so that, that was the point I was making. I think we're, we're stepping into a, an area where we don't really need to be. Okay, can I open on this mm -hmm. one? Sure, go ahead. So the first thing he mentions is cosmologists. So cosmology is a study of the beginning. 
Yeah. It's the study of the beginning. Okay. And so then he goes after that to say that he doesn't think that there's any evidence that there was a beginning. So he's insinuating that the universe or all creation or all being or is, is in simply put a circle. Like a loop. There's no beginning. There's no end. It's circular. And it just, but however, the entire idea of cosmology, which is the argument he's claiming to make is everything that is had a beginning. And so, and he was just like, well, well, all the particles that got dense, it got hot. We don't know how that happened, which, you know, we don't even know where those particles happened. We don't know where those particles could have happened because in order for that to happen, there had to have been space in order for there to be space or to have to been something to put that space there. Right. Right. And so it's like, if we're talking about something that something had to have had a beginning regardless of when that was. So I, I, I agree that sometimes this type of questioning and the way that these, they are answered can be antagonistic. Um, and that's the fault of people on both sides. However, I'd say that he's also holding a very silly position yeah. that is a lot more philosophical than it is scientific. Because yeah. he's, he's mm-hmm. saying well, that it's so, scientific. Yeah, it sounds but, like a uh, sounds like a cop out of like, well, we don't really know. Yeah, he's like, arguing so science with philosophy. Right, exactly. Like, well, yeah. we can't really prove this, this, and this because we don't really know how it all started. And I'm like, that seems like a really easy answer to say that you don't believe in God. Like, it's super easy to throw out that argument and just. Bite. But you can't even prove anything else. That, but, yeah, which is kind of which I think is funny. Like, it's kind of exactly ironic. what you're oh, saying. This doesn't prove that. Exactly what you're saying is I think is so right. Is is proving that he is he's arguing science with philosophy, and his yeah. philosophy is since we don't know, we might as well not you know put <laughs> yeah. not put our money towards a certain thing. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's like well, actually, down. the scientific method is oh. you go with where the evidence leads. Yeah. Not you know if you can't 100 percent know then you might as well not have an opinion on it. So I think I, I think that's Brian Cox. I, I know him. I've never Let me try it again. I know him. I know, I know him. him. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I've, I've I know read, him. heard, whatever. Um, I think one good thing he did say, when we talk about proof, we, we've talked about difference between proof and evidence on here before, I think, but if not, a quick refresher. I cannot prove to anybody there is a God. No atheist can prove to me there is not. That was admitted by him just now. We don't know. It's a matter of a preponderance of evidence. Where does the evidence lead me to? Very few things can you prove. Proof is a mathematical term. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You remember in geometry class? Man, don't bring up Proof three, (laughs) proof four. Proof is a mathematical term. You can only prove a few things. It's about where the evidence leads. That's the idea behind it. So, now this might not have been what he was getting at. So, I agree that there are mysteries in the universe. Sure. Okay? Now, the difference between he and I is I believe there are mysteries in the universe because an eternal God created it, and we are still figuring that out after 6,000 years. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, it is interesting to me how someone could say, because if the universe had the beginning, then that necessitates the need for a creator. Right. If the universe is eternal, what you're asking me to believe, you're you're telling me it's silly for me to believe, or there's no evidence to believe that there is a creator, and there's no evidence to believe that the universe is eternal, but one is less likely than the other. Right. That's intriguing to me because you're trying to get me to believe that this universe is eternal. Here's my problem with that. Every piece of evidence I see on the planet Has and outside the planet. Ways. The evidence overwhelmingly, with 100% yeah. accuracy, is that they, it is not eternal. Mm-hmm. I see where it came from, and I see where it goes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I see where it came from, and I see where it goes. It, it disappears. It dissolves. It breaks apart. Right. And I see it have beginning. Mm-hmm. I can, you know, over long periods of time, we can see things form. We see things start. We see things come to life. Mm-hmm. So everything in this universe screams it had a beginning, mm-hmm. and it's not eternal. Mm-hmm. So I would need some level of evidence to show me the universe was eternal. On the other hand, I can't prove to you there is a God, but I have overwhelming evidence. And from, yeah, and it's not like a couple of things. No. Right? You, you say overwhelming, overwhelming evidence, which I 100% agree with. I, <laughs> you know, I have no choice 
intellectually, but to believe in God. To do to not would be to go against what I believe to be a preponderance of evidence, like natural natural revelation. You know, oh, I mean, creation, yeah. You yeah. Know? I just don't see how, like, you know, my dad always used to say he's, you know, he's he loves like studying like the anatomy of the body and how things work. Man, and he said, crazy. he said, if you just take the human eyeball yeah. by itself and leave out everything else and the way it works, he said, I just cannot deny that there is a creator behind it. It's crazy. This. Yeah. 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 Just the eyeball, not including. Right. Yeah. Pregnancy, well, but then like yeah, pregnancy like, is so wild and the development yes. of the baby and like, every, yeah, I was telling my husband last night, um, like certain points in the pregnancy, your body will release a hormone called, um, what is it? Re- relaxin or something. It's essentially where your mm-hmm. body sends a hormone through your body to relax certain muscles and things to yeah. allow things to loosen up. Like right now, my back is killing me, but I told my husband, I said, my body automatically knows how to do that in order to prepare for this growing baby in order Absolutely. to like come out. And uh, it was, I'm like, I just yeah. don't understand. Uh, like that just happens. There's you know? actually a video. But it happens to all women yeah. who are pregnant. Yeah, there's a video it's online. Like, I can't remember the title of it, but it kind of, it kind of shows like a time lapse of like the baby growing in the womb. It's crazy. It's a beautiful oh, thing. I've it's, seen it. It's, it's freaking, wild. It's freaking awesome. Can I it's give wild. one more on that? Please do. Do it. I went on the men's fishing trip two weeks ago. <laughs> and um, I was talking with somebody. We were off by ourselves. And this water strider, don't think of the Wolverine episode, but this water strider <laughs> was walking on water. Y- y'all seen this? If it moves its feet fast enough, it's so light. And it has so many legs. What it does, is it? Like a bug? It's a bug. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's oh, so yeah. light and it has enough legs, it doesn't break the surface yeah. tension of the water. So like, it doesn't Ooh. sink. Yeah. Right. Because it doesn't ever break the surface tension because it's so light. Now, I want you to just, let's pretend there's no God, any of that stuff. For a moment. This isn't the point taken Christian podcast. This is just the point taken podcast. <laughs> Heresy. Just stay with me for a minute. How... Did that creature evolve over millions of years to have the ability to walk on water without drowning all of its genetic and DNA in the bottom of that lake? How did it continue that and then be able to do that? How would it have survived that? Because you can't tell me, evolutionary, that the first time it stepped on the water, it survived. Mm -hmm. Right. So how did it develop that over millions of years? That is... Uh, that's unbelievable. I mean that in a literal sense. I can't believe that. Mm-hmm. Like that's crazy. To that's me. that's what never yeah. made sense to me when talking about evolution. And, I'm like, well, how did all, how how did they continue right to now? Yep. Right now, every one of us are paying money for that to be taught. We, we have to pay yeah. for that to be taught to our children. <laughs> the only way that theory would scared. work is if they it started out with millions of them. They could watch. They could observe what happens. Mm. They could yeah. pro- they could have the already the space. ability to process that information. And then to adapt yeah. past that yeah. and yeah. At, with attempts over attempts over and attempts over And since the evolutionary model That's says intelligence point. has evolved also, Correct. that can't be believable. And then if it didn't, yeah. where did it come from? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, when you just, again, going back to like the anatomy of the body, going back to, you know, all the different planets and the stars and mm. the ocean and... You know, you go, <laughs> the ocean. you go to the Grand Canyon and you look at that thing and you're like, like, how could this just be from looks like water and carved it out? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. But there's signs there that there's say that was seashells millions. In, yeah. There's seashells <laughs> yeah, in yeah. the Grand Canyon. That's the craziest thing to me. We have it's, found crustaceans on top of mountains. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's crazy to me. It's almost like the Bible was true. <laughs> it's almost like there was a worldwide flood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I would like to know what this guy's view of time is. Because, like, if time doesn't have a beginning, how do you quantify it? But he does believe that because he, he said 13.8 billion years ago it got hot and exploded. Right. Well, no, no, he, he wasn't. I don't think that's what he was saying was his. Can we rewatch no, it again? Because he then he went into, oh, he well, this might not the even universe be a perfect- was eternal. He doesn't know. He's saying that 13.8 billion years ago, which is the normal start point oh, for most okay. people. Mm-hmm. He's saying, I agree it exploded 13.8 billion years ago. Some people say it's the beginning. Some people say it was eternal before that. But that's when oh, it exploded. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Now, so he's so putting a time on the explosion. So he has a time yeah. on the explosion of 13.8. They change it from 13.1 to 13.8. Well, of course they do. But by the way, anybody wondering about that type of topic and what we're trying to discuss with the time 
is that in order for time to exist, there has to be something outside of time to put it into motion. Mm-hmm. So absolutely, what is what was God's first creation? A lot of people say it was light, or what, but Genesis one one in the beginning. Yeah, the first thing God created was time. Yeah, the beginning. Mm. Right, so God is has to be outside of time, Come outside on. of space. Yeah. He's what we're called the uncaused first cause and the unmoved mover. So he is what started that and put it into position. So logically, we can't really believe in a circular time with no beginning and no end because time is linear. I mean, you'd have to argue that time is some nonlinear, which I don't. I don't have enough information to base that argument off of, yeah. uh, and I don't want to because it's nonsensical to me. Um, but yeah, God, somebody has to press play in simple terms to make time start. And that's what we're arguing is silly that the whole thing can't be eternal. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, we can make, we can all make so many arguments that would just like totally like blow that out of the water. But like, as far as like the individual himself, like, you know, he probably is somebody that like genuinely believes what he says. Yeah. You're right. But I think a lot of times what people do is they reject the truth so much and they lie to themselves so much that they forget the lie that they told themselves is an actual lie. 100%. And so they happens. just they cause themselves to believe it, you know. And I'm not saying that's the case with this person. You know, he could be just selling a bunch of, you know, bull crap because he thinks, you know, people are going to buy it, you know. But I just, honestly, I just can't, like, walk outside and think – like my mind can't even like comprehend all of the different things that we see in this universe. Same. And I'm like, there's just, there's just no way. There's no way this could, this couldn't be from a creator. Yeah, man. It's everything is so intentional. Absolutely. In Roman. That's and, one. Yeah. Intentional. I like that. Yeah. Like, it's uh, almost like he knew what he was doing. He had a plan for everything. Yeah. Everything <laughs> has a purpose and absolutely. Yeah, it just doesn't all happen like that and work cohesively. Universal right. constants. Everything works so well, yeah. yeah. If you want to look into what they're talking about, that's universal constants. You can Google it. He's a sharp dude. I like him. Oh, no, he's such a good host. Like you're him. a very Way better than me. You're, no, I mean, you are a very intelligent <laughs> you see what individual. She just I mean did. that. You're a very intelligent individual. <laughs> I wouldn't have like, done the boom bop pow thing. Whenever people boom call them at others, pow. sometimes they're doing it so they can remove responsibility from themselves. That's what just <laughs> happened. Just what? What? So real quick question. So the boom bop pow, y'all did get that from yeah. Super Hot Fire? Yes. Yes. Yes, I did. But I'm not a rapper. Yes. You're the first person to recognize that, dude. This. Oh. I'm so this whole time, I thought we were doing bad. Batman and Robin, he no, called, like, he boom. Called, he, said, wow. Wow. he called me smart Gee, and when he recognized what I've been doing for so long. He's like, boom, bop, bada beep, boom, wow. pow. Ah. Yeah, he's like, this whole time. Two and a half men. I just thought I it was watched that. Thing. I'm about to ruin this man's whole career. <laughs> I'm but not I'm not a rapper. rapper. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen that? Like, oh, man, we got to change that. Oh, man, that more just made than, my day. More oh, than half such of the things video. you guys quote, like, I've. Oh, you're out. You're out. Ago. Like during the warm up before he started. No, did you, you see me just sitting here? You, you, you know, know there's a, you know there's episode of Chris Rock in it <laughs> where he raps with Chris Rock. Did you know that? No. Yeah, like back, like back in the day, it's like I don't know, it was like 13 years ago, or something crazy. But he did a rap now battle I'm with Chris listening. Rock. I'm done. Oh, see, awesome. welcome to the club. <laughs> so right, no, we'll, we'll, we'll get back on it. But I just, I just love Ben, dude. Look that was awesome. This was a good moment. Dude, dude, that was awesome. Did y'all respond? He said, yeah. "Dude, you're so awesome. smart." By the way, right now, I get your He's reference stupid. you've been doing. <laughs> so to be to be smart and have a personality, Stop. like you know, all right. <laughs> no, but because you know you. Barely have either one of those. Oh, right. I, t- I entirely have one, not barely. All right. Well, that's a great. That's a great way to go into he the last. I was going to stop. But so stupid, laughed. it's funny. But so stupid, it's what? Funny. Thank you. I ain't afraid to say I'm it. Talking. I think I'm I scared. Ain't afraid to say it. The last thing I'll say is uh, one thing that I want to warn people about when you're getting into these types of conversations, especially when it comes into cosmology, because there's a little bit of truth to what he said. He said, but, but listen to what he said. He said, I don't like the antagonistic attitude when it comes to this topic. Oh, he did say that. He did say that, which, which is somewhat fair because a lot of the times, whatever your opinion is on this topic, it seems so blatantly obvious and silly to even be talking about it a lot of the time that when you, then when, when Christians would respond and when non-Christians respond, it seems to be a little, you know, uh, Antagonistic. Man, I'm trying to think of a different word for antagonistic, but yeah, antagonistic. <laughs> yeah. But 
it seemed to me, and I don't know this guy, this is the only clip I've ever seen of this guy, and it seems like he has his own opinions formulated, but it seems to me that there is an attitude of, please just let me believe what I want to believe and leave me alone. Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was like, make sure not to get to that point where it's just like, okay, just because somebody might speak to you poorly or speak down to you about your opinions doesn't mean you have to lock in and, you know, just double down and say, well, because now that I have the moral high ground, I now have the, Mm. you know, educational high ground or I have like the high ground on my topic. It's not true. It's not necessarily true. Yeah. It's over, Anakin. I was just saying! I was waiting for it. I have the eyebrows. Oh, he's doing the eyebrows. I knew it was coming. Imagine. <laughs> Don't try it. Don't. You underestimate my yeah. power. Yeah. You quoted episode four there. It's like, yeah. you <laughs> underestimate <laughs> my power. Don't try it. Shoot. Sure. <laughs> That's <laughs> episode three that he says that in. Yeah. Yeah. Did you say four? Well, he quoted four. He says, I will become more powerful than you can ever imagine. That's yeah, when that Darth is Vader four. Start, that is strikes four. him down. You said that. I've become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. No, I said, you he underestimate to... my power. Kenobi. Roll back the clip. Pull no, up the VOD. No, Kenobi. Josiah. Chat, Josiah. is this real? Josiah. Kenobi is the one who says, if you strike me down, I'm more come, become yeah. more powerful than you possibly imagine. Yeah. But he says that in episode four. Yeah. I just said that. Oh, okay. Which is my episode bad. one, not four. New Hope is one. The I'm people sure. who just watched this play out, you know what happened. Let's go ahead and go on don't, to the next video. That part I agree with. On to the next video. Perhaps the most famous Baal in the Bible is in the book of Exodus. God delivered his people, they got together, and they created a golden calf. And they worshipped it. You would worship Baal if you wanted to succeed and be affluent and live a lavish lifestyle. Baal is typified as a bull. A calf is a baby bull. They were worshiping Baal. And see, what happens is we read the Bible and we think, those people are primitive. Thankfully, we've moved beyond that sort of primitive thinking. I know what he's about to say. Thankfully, we don't worship a Baal or bull. Yes, we do. This is right next to the New York Stock Exchange. If we were Hebrews from the Old Testament, we would say, well, there's Baal, the golden bull. And we worship him because we want a bull or bale market. A bull or bale market is a thriving market. What I'm telling you is this, we're dealing with new days but old demons. I've said this for a long time. If the people change and things don't, that means that the spirit working through them is the same. Is that um, Mark Driscoll? Yeah, oh, that's a dope album cover at the very end. <laughs> well, that, <laughs> that music though, it's like is that Bale dropping his EP. <laughs> the music sounded like like it came from like Pride and Prejudice or something like. Oh, you know shit. what I'm talking about? Have you ever seen yeah, Pride and Prejudice? <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounded like. No, why is why is that the so can music we, they chose? <laughs> can we open this up with explaining what Bale is? Sure, sure. Uh, Bale is the false. Uh, gods of the Canaanite religions in what we would call Israel, Palestine, if you prefer to be wrong. Um, <laughs> in, in any, in those, those false gods, gods of fertility, gods of cultivation. Um, and unfortunately, those are what many of the Israelites ended up worshiping. What he just referenced is when Moses went on that mountain for 40 days, <sighs> and then they were making images of the Gods in the surrounding mm-hmm. areas, including a golden calf, a golden mm-hmm. bull. Idiots. I know. And it's what? like he comes with these commandments and then comes back <sighs> down, and then Aaron's supposed to be in charge of them, and then they're just making like, idols, and you're like, God, Israelites. It's like so man. quick, too. I like, know. Yeah. It's not but like it was like but we're like that. 100 years. Yeah, but we're like that. We're so dumb. So, yeah. We're just like the Israelites. I am. Um, we're dumb, but we're not stupid. Yeah, you know sure. I, mean? I may be stupid. But I'm not dumb. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> Thank yep. you. Um, I'll give him this. I appreciate your SpongeBob. <laughs> I agree uh, with the um, old demons, new days. In other words, right. there's nothing new under the sun. I think that's a right way to think about it. Sure. Um, I also agree with what Anna quoted earlier. The love of money is root of all types of evil. Mm-hmm. Uh, all types of evil are from the yeah. love of money. Mm-hmm. If you love money... Um, so I agree with that as well. I would not say that everyone in the society worships, and I would also not say that the physical bull in the New York Stock Exchange is an, a right. literal bale. Right. However, bulls are just cool. <laughs> however, you seen the bulls? Yeah, the I, yeah. So <laughs> people touch. So yeah. So then, <laughs> thanks, thanks for that, Anna. It's all right. It's cool. 
That's all right. That's all right. I, just, I was like, no, it didn't. <laughs> yeah, so. It's like a whole thing. You couldn't control yourself, could you? <laughs> she could not control herself. I mean, that's oh, crazy. No, I'm but I adult. think I know what you're talking about because the colors change on the yeah, because statues. Yeah, people, people So it's usually on the of breasts them. of statues. Yeah, You'll see, yeah. like, it's a different shade. <laughs> and the, that was yeah, amazing. Look it up. Uh, yeah, no, actually, you don't, you don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah. but you don't have to just... <laughs> you can't explain that search history. <laughs> So we we don't endorse that <laughs> Google search. Oh my goodness! We Lord on behalf of Anna would like to apologize for what has happened. We did not endorse that Google search. At any rate, tra- transitioning from that, I will say this. So again, yeah, the idea of the bull is just that it's an aggressive market. That's right. the idea behind yeah. it. So I will say this. I think it is clear in this society that we do, in general, worship money. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I think that's a fact. I mean, we will throw our entire lives at something with no end goal in sight and no day to day purpose except to make money. Yeah, it's just, well, like, it's like the, money, what that yeah. guy said in the first TikTok. It's just like as much as I can make, and it's just like you're never satisfied. Yeah, like like death of a salesman. Yeah, um, like that, like yeah. that kind of idea. I think, I think sometimes right. that people do it like subconsciously. They're not like, ooh, money, oh, money, yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, like oh. Mr. Krabs. But <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I'm not Mr. going <laughs> as far as to equate that to that necessitates that type of um, idol worship. Yeah. But I will say the idea of an idol is that which is put in priority and honor above God. That can be anyone. That can be family members. Like we can do that with anything. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah, and I also feel like he was being just a little bit too strict with the word bail. So like, and I, this is where I would like some guidance and correction because of my knowledge I'm not a hundred percent confident. So it is my understanding that bail uh, was a na- was a name for many things. They would just create something and they would call it bail, and bail could be another word for master. Would yeah, that'd be correct. Yeah. Like, and then it became like more you, than you can't like, just say, well, I'm your bail. Like, no, because that's now kind yeah. of so, so you know how, like, Julius Caesar and then any leader after that in Rome would just be called Caesar or whatever? Right. Yeah. So there might be a specific god yeah. of... Um, and then there was Caesar Romero. The weather. There might be There might be fertility. a specific god, but also that name could be used to refer to any false god. Right. That's the idea okay. behind it, like oh, you just okay. said. Okay, yeah. So the the symbolism of the bull doesn't necessarily have to it be wasn't so always direct. A bull. It wasn't right. always a bull. Right. right. So it's like it, it didn't I have to be so to correct, know. like direct as like, oh, well, there's a bull outside the stock market, and we all know that money is evil, and we all know that New York has a whole lot of sinners. So surely, <laughs> surely, <laughs> sinners. I was like, well, kind of crazy. You yeah, said sinners very sinister. Lee. Well, That's you know, I was, just, I was trying to. Think. <laughs> I don't know. After what Anna Give said, I think bumps. everything's allowed Sorry. right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was like, yeah, we, we don't have to draw so hard and definitive lines, and then put it to your sheep and say this is a hundred percent what's happening. 100. I feel like that as a pastor is a little bit reckless. Well, he's pretty controversial reckless. from what I've seen. Can you say that word again? Controversial. There it is. is what I like did I say the first time? You said controversial. Controversial. And I was just wondering if that Sorry. was consent. Okay. Words are words are hard. No words. <laughs> words are hard. Are, I can't word. <laughs> they actually are difficult. I can't word. Mm-hmm. No, but um, he's pretty much that word. Now I'm. Now no, I'm no, you like. you have it right. I was just seeing if like, <laughs> oh, is that how she always says it? No, probably not. Wait, no, but he, that thing came out in the news recently. Like he got. Became viral. Have you not heard about this? Uh, that's the first time I've ever seen that. Okay, so life. this guy, Same. if you haven't heard, he went to this men's conference and he was actually one of the speakers. I and saw before this. the Friday night, um, there was like an entertainment portion of the of the conference. And they hired it was a guy who was on America's Got Talent and he was a performer. He what did he do? Sword swallowing, Sword swallowing and swallowing. took his shirt off and But like, he you know, but he like is actually a stripper. And huh? so he like took off his shirt. Wait, that guy? The, yeah, but no, he, no, not the pastor. No, no, okay, no, no, okay. no, 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 the performer. I was like, the pastor, wow, this took a while. The turn, pastor like, was at okay. a men's conference, and, and the, was, the pre-show to him was this guy before he spoke on yeah. the Bible. Sure, yeah. was that guy? And so he called him out on that, he and then the guy who was the correctly. pastor, he huh. the pastor who was leading the conference, told him to get off the stage. It's like a whole thing. So, well, I I know know that that so in that sense, he did. 
Correct. With, that with, not- with one exception, okay. I think. Yeah. So he's right. That's unacceptable to have that at men's conference. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, for three or four reasons. Yeah. <laughs> Right. The other pastor said, here's my problem. He was just with me backstage for 30 minutes and didn't tell me he was going to say any of that and waited until he got on stage to say it. He didn't he, try to correct me He mentioned backstage. the scripture. Was it in, is it in Matthew? He was talking about Matthew like 18. One, yeah, okay, so like he, 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 was, he was backstage with the pastor over the whole conference. And never and mentioned, mentioned it. And then yeah. when it was and his turn to speak. That pastor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So church discipline, all so that stuff. I would so say the Mark right, Driscoll. I would say, you know. I would say the Mark Driscoll guy, he was... He the, called them out. He was on the he call. He was the one who was I've seen his next. name around, but I haven't seen yeah, it. That's the first time I've seen him. Yeah, like I said, I've heard mixed things about him, so that's why I was kind of hesitant when we watched that last video. Yeah. But that that was like recently He did the right the thing news. in the wrong way. There you yeah. go. Yeah. There you go. There yeah. you go. Yeah. He just, Could have yeah. been done differently. Like, but, we don't know if it was intentional or just a basic mistake. Well, that was one person. of the arguments that somebody made was that they... It's like, well, the pastor probably has people who, you know, like we have Char for your dad and like Carrie for your dad and like all these other people who do things. Like they have jobs. It's like just get somebody to do this. And so he might have trusted this one person who was hiring the entertainment to vet this guy and they didn't. He just trusted him or he knew what he was doing and what he had as a um, occupation previously. Wow. So I don't know. It's like there's there's just so many ins and outs of that and what ifs and like just unknowns. So yeah, it's I don't know. It was just pretty crazy. But that was in the news. Like well, I say the news. It went viral like yeah. a couple of weeks yeah. ago. Yeah, real quick about the the dude uh, Mark. talking about not Mark the other the guy before that the first TikTok. Yeah, the first was it the first one? No, the second one. Okay, the second one. No, not one. The Bodie, the one was, Bodie Bauckham. Oh, no, no. Between those two, the one he was talking Brian about, like, we Cox don't know it. Does cosmologist. Yeah, right. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so, you were wrong. Uh, we're you, were wrong but, you were wrong. But, but it made I me, knew. It makes me think <laughs> about Bodie Bauckham because, you know, we were making the argument about, like, you know, we could clear, we clearly have evidence that, you know, God's existence and everything. He said in yeah. one of his videos, he was like, he wasn't even preaching. He was like teaching a lesson. It looked like it was like at a college or something. He said, the reason I believe the Bible is because it is a reliable collection of historical documents written by eyewitnesses during the lifetime of other eyewitnesses Mm -hmm. that report supernatural events and claim that their writings are divine and not human in origin. And Mm -hmm. I was like, that's a pretty good stinking argument. And then it's like like an hour long after that where he goes, breaks it all down. Y'all should check it out. If you got somebody struggling with that, tell them to look up Bodie Bauckham's Why I Believe the Bible. It is intense. It's awesome. Okay, I know exactly. His what love I'm and marriage series later. is really good too. It's, yeah, it's bad to the bone. You'll be wow. like, this dude bad killed it. But uh, bad. <laughs> oh, that was rough. <laughs> no, I liked it. I liked it. I support it. No, I I, I, I cringed at that. One, I was say one person hey, at this geez. table supports you. Um, I still love you, Pastor. But it's just, the second most important person at the table. I just thought, like, his daughters I'm have to listen so to, happy to in the car. Like, they right. are stuck, and his wife are stuck with him in the car when he has to sing. Where did all this hate kids. originate from? <laughs> like, what Where did what happened here? I mean, he, so he makes fun. one song so, <laughs> reference. I'm a bully. When you were talking about, like, <laughs> making more money. Dude, hey. it's crazy. <laughs> When you were talking about... You want to go ahead and talk about my hype? See where I'm at? I got one, I got one for you. I got one for you. Are you, are you wearing your boots Saya, today? Saya, Saya, you said earlier... Yes, I sure am. You sure said am. earlier not... Here they are, right These here. two are different. <laughs> Why did that just happen? How many you inches of height did those have? I got these out. He's not good. enough. Those You're still cool. short with them on. There it is. So who cares? <laughs> there we go. No, what I was going to say is earlier when you are yeah. talking about the money... Yeah, huh? And you are talking about like... Yeah, well, buddy. You know, it's different for y'all. Y'all, you yeah. know, strive to move up and stuff. And I sure. said, well, if you're the funniest pastor, you might make more money. That's what I was going to say. But I chose not to say it because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. And then he just But said now anyway. we're going to say it. Now but it doesn't care. Because it's time to pile on. Now, yeah, I mean. Why not? I'm with you. We're already yeah. poking, poking the bear. Might as well stab a machete in that thing <laughs> at this point. You can't stab with a machete. There's so much wrong with that. Sure thing. you can. No, you can't. Yeah, uh, watch. Not well. No. All right, you want to do one more? Well, I I wanted to close with this on that video, and yes, then do one more, is that when when you have a, mm, let's say, when you have any type of audience and when you have any type of responsibility when you're sharing knowledge, biblical knowledge, I think it's very important to 
be accountable to the amount of knowledge that you have. And what I'm saying is when you have a theory, don't preach it as fact. Yeah. And I was like, and especially if you're a pastor and you're responsible for your flock, don't just throw your wife. theory out as this is one hundred percent. This is what the world is like. Hey, man, you know, there, there's there's bits of truth in that, and there's Letter. bits of your opinion in that that you know may or may not. But, but make like, sure to no, differentiate between the two, right? For sure. Like if you don't know for sure, be like, hey, on this one, this is why I think this way. But I don't know, and that's something here at this church that we do really well. Is like, hey, on this one. You know, do your own research. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. Do your own research. This right. is why I believe what I believe. I have evidence for it, but I don't have proof for it. Right. Sometimes he's done that where he's like, he's actually given like a pretty good stinking answer. And then he's like, okay. this is, you know, what scripture says. This is, you know, seems like it's pretty clear to me, but, you know, you need to search that for yourself and like make sure it was something along the lines of that. Like, search it for yourself to basically don't just listen to me. Well, like one of the things that. But, like, you're, Encouraging them to like, hey, don't just listen to me because I said it. Like, no, I agree you, with that. Right. But if I <laughs> amen that now, are you going to yeah. make fun of that? <laughs> Your face the whole time. He's like, oh, and are you just trying to make it up to me? How, how do I answer Making this? Funny? Oh, yeah. wait, it was Pastor Jeff I was thinking of. Yeah, My bad. It is. My bad. <laughs> it is. All right. On to the next video. Get clear. I'm not an atheist. I believe in the creator because I think that the quantum physics and quantum mechanics proves we're living in a creation. However, Somebody say Christ is king. You're going to find out. You understand what Christ is? Christ is you. We're all Christ. Ooh. And until you understand that, you're going nowhere. We are all the Christ. Christ never said, Jesus never said he was coming back. He Ooh. said the Christ would return. And by that, he meant the consciousness, the Christ consciousness, the Ooh. understanding Yikes. of wisdom and ascension knowledge comes back and returns in every single person's mind. And by that method, the return is us. We are the second coming. Until you understand that, you're going nowhere. You're going nowhere. That was nowhere. extremely hard <laughs> to watch. First of all, Josiah was about out. to lose it over here. <laughs> He's He's like, like, I, can't, I can't listen to he this. He kept saying, you're going nowhere. I was like, dude, your eyelids are going nowhere. Oh. <laughs> like, open up, dude. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it looks like a robot. Exactly. Like, he You're did. Going Look, he That's an android right there is what that was. That was not a real person. I hope so. Goodness. All right. I, I feel like, uh, Pastor, do you need some time to f find the scripture? You got it. No, I, I know where I'm going here. He's so, about to tear it up. So <clears throat> the word Christ means anointed one, the chosen one of the Old Testament. He's the promised one of the Old Testament. That's what Christ means. <laughs> How can we all be the chosen one? Is like what I was right. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I have a perfect quote for this. When everyone's super, no one will be. <laughs> Does anyone know? Incredible. Yeah. I was like, oh, that is incredible. <laughs> Syndrome. I was just laughing um, at your impression. I thought it was pretty good, but it, <laughs> anyway, it sounded familiar. Just Christ kidding. is the anointed one, chosen one. Yeah. So Jesus said repeatedly to disciples, "And where I'm going, you cannot go. But if I go, I will return and receive you where I am, so that where I am, you will be also." You should Jesus, just comment Jesus, on that guy's video. <laughs> Jesus said that explicitly. Yeah. Yeah. He said, and I go, and if I go, I will come again and receive you as I am so that where I am, you will be also. That's what Jesus said. Jesus said, I mean, he said the same thing in Acts chapter 1. He said, is it, is it your time to restore the kingdom of Israel? And he said, basically, not yet. Um Jesus, who was taken up to heaven, this is when the angels say to him, Jesus, who was taken up to heaven, will come in the same way. Now, he said it said Christ will return. Right. Jesus, Jesus, who was taken up, this is Acts 111, taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Acts mm -hmm. 111. So, you just destroyed him. I'm no the Bible did. Well, yeah, <laughs> but, you, uh, <laughs> uh, obviously with the obvious blasphemy of we're all Christ. Christ is the promised one of God to restore the line of David and to bring salvation to His people. That is something the person of Jesus fulfilled. Christ is not a name; it is a role. It is a yeah. role. It's like understand what I'm saying. Whoever the Father picked to fulfill the role of Christ would have been Christ, mm -hmm. right? If he had picked Abraham, if he had picked David, if he had picked Moses, if he had picked Hunter, if he had picked Anna, if he had picked Ben. 
None of those people could fulfill the role. The only person that could fill the role was Jesus Christ. Um, excuse me, Jesus, who became the Christ. <laughs> so, right. so, yeah. The only one fit to be the assistant to the regional manager. Exactly. Is the regional manager. Oh, man. Yeah. Office You're, quotes never get old. Man. Never, never. <laughs> and that one fit, like, perfectly. Yeah, yeah. good. So, um, glad we have everyone back now. But the point is... <laughs> hey, babe. The point is, we're not all Christ. Uh, yeah. That was one role that was fulfilled by the person of Jesus, and he will be coming back. He said he was coming back. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I have no idea what he means by that. But Jesus is the Christ, so there's that. And we should say, anytime you're presented with some crazy thing, like this guy saying, you know, everybody's the Christ and all that stuff. That's a bold and, right. statement. Jeez. And you're just like, hmm. I know that's Blasphemous, wrong, yes, absolutely. but what about it? Like, how exactly am I supposed to attack that? Remember, step one needs to be defining your terms, which is the very first thing Pastor Josiah did. What is Christ? Christ is the anointed one. Mm-hmm. So, and then you need to recognize that some people commit some logical fallacies and that they claim an argument based on a lie that they're claiming is true. So it's like he, he had this whole idea that, well, first of all, the Bible never said that, so what are you going to do? Like, well... If you just take that at face value, you know, this guy's getting his information based on some other guy who spoke to him the exact same way right. and told him, hey, you're not going anywhere until you recognize that, you know, the Bible said that we're all the Christ. You're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of playtime. Play time. <laughs> hey, in, case, in case the counter would be that Acts 1A is the angel speaking that Jesus would return, our gentleman said that Jesus never said he was coming back. The Bible said Christ would come back. John 14. Verse 2, in my father's house, this is Jesus speaking, in my father's house there are many rooms. If it were not so, would not I have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself so that where I am you may be also. So we define our terms. I love love that one. We recognize our lies. And then usually by that point, you've already finished your argument. Word. I just want to know where people like that get that from. Start TikTok. Dudes. Yeah, it starts no, off no, with a, bend, the no. bending of the like tree. He, they yeah, get it from their friend's high from. older brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What he looked like he participated. They, they in. go over to play Halo. They're up there. The big brothers in the other room. Hey, don't you, don't, hate, don't, don't you be hating on Halo now? Hey, don't, don't you want to hear what the Bible actually says about the second coming? <laughs> <laughs> don't bring Halo into this. <laughs> no, no haters for Halo. Uh, so, so no, wait, but, everyone who plays Halo is a believer. Is that, is that your point? No, I'm just saying. No, don't Halo's be hating on Halo. 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 Like, I wasn't hating on Halo. Don't hate it's the just, game. Hate the player. Well, that's what you've been doing to me the whole time. I know. By the way, we're almost out of time. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's, let's actually to come in and- call it. Guys, if you liked what you heard, if you didn't like what you heard, let us know. Drop a comment on this video. Yeah. Uh, we also have an email account, listenpointtaken at gmail.com. Please send us an email with some listener questions or just drop it in the comments of mm-hmm. this video. Uh, make sure you like, yep. subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, deuces. deuces. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right, so back to it.